thank you for that, for that uh, very warm uh, introduction. For a long time, when I was growing up, I thought that uh, translation was something that was done from one language to another by translators. That was because I grew up in the late 40s and 50s, which was the golden age of uh, translation in Tamil. Stories were translated from Bengali, Hindi, Marathi, Gujarati, Russian stories. They all came in uh, Tamil. And for a long time, we thought that Sharad Chandra was a Tamil writer. <laughs> and uh, growing up those days, reading these uh, stories in Tamil, most of us wanted to marry a Bengali man <laughs> because he was a poet and a rebel. You know. All these dreams, of course, vanished when we met the Bengali man later. <laughs> was actually a way of seeing and relating, which I've been doing all my life. And that, uh, I was a translator right from the beginning, because I've been translating many things. In uh, most uh, middle class uh, families, Tamil families, the girls are taught to sing. And music is something that I grew up with, because my mother is a musician. So a teacher used to come home to teach me music from a very young age. And when we learn a particular uh, kind of music called varnam, there is a string of swaras in between, which is called chittaswaram, you know. So when I was uh, trying to sing a particular chittaswaram, the music teacher told me that imagine as if it's a flowing river, then you can sing it in one breath. So suddenly, these swaras became a flowing river. They were not just for us with Sari, Gama, no. It was a flowing river which I could sing in one breath. Then later, when I was uh, put in a, a dance class, there were many padams which were taught to us, which for which we have to do bhav. So there is a song which says, Teravilvarano ene chattri tirumbiparano, which means, won't he come on the street and turn and look at me just a little. Now these are padams which are done by a community of great artists called Devdas. A devas waits at the window for a client to come. Of course, this song is addressed to Shiva. But a middle class Tamil girl grows up with the comments, don't stand by the window. Why are you looking out of the window? Don't laugh aloud. Don't walk fast. So when I had to do this uh, padam, I just could not get the bow. Finally, when I did, uh, did the gesture of turning and looking like this, I looked at a woman standing. Then my teacher told me, actually, only her face and half body is visible because she is standing by the window. You can't see the entire woman. But I never stood like that. So to translate that into Baal, I had to understand how a community of artists lived. So that was one gesture of translation. Then we had always taught the Padam, Krishna Nipegane Baru. Krishna Nipegane Baru means Krishna, come soon. Now this Krishna can be of many types. He is the child of Krishna. Then he is an utter Krishna who is dallying with the gopis. Then he becomes the Krishna who is the person who takes care of the world. The Jagadotarana he becomes, you know. 
So your bow is to constantly change. And Krishna is not one person, he is many people. 